Welcome to our GEC News. First with the headlines. GEC student activities temporarily halt for 20 days. NASA to establish floating cloud city. The largest cemetery ever found on Earth in Egypt with one million mummies. Kellogg outbids Abraj for third time in race for Egypt Biscomos. Only 24% of Brits can afford to retire. Bowtie for Timberlake. Listening to jazz music boosts golf performance. Robin scores 100th goal for Bayern Munich in easy 2-0 Bundesliga win. Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden are engaged. And now, the news in full. Due to the beginning of the winter semester examination calendar, all GEC students' activities are to be suspended for about 20 days from December 19, 2014 till January 11, 2015. This temporary halt of all activities will help students to concentrate more on their exams and not to be distracted by any external influences. While Mars may be all the rage right now, a team of NASA scientists has dreamed up an innovative concept that could eventually see humans permanently occupied Venus atmosphere in a floating cloud city. Venus is actually remarkably similar to Earth so much that it's often described as Earth twin. The two planets are similar in size, mass, density, gravity and composition. Named the High Altitude Venus Operational Concept, the evolutionary program comprises a series of ventures that would kick off by sending a robot into the atmosphere to test the waters, followed by a 30-day crewed orbital mission. If successful, the next mission would be a crewed 30-day venture in Venus atmosphere, ultimately leading up to humans spending a year in the atmosphere, or maybe even the establishment of a permanent presence in the floating city. A cemetery containing more than a million mummified human bodies has been recently unearthed in central Egypt. Scientists have already extracted more than 1,700 mummies preserved by the hot dry desert in the Fayoum area about 100 kilometers south of Cairo. The scientists argue that the mummies were buried around 1,500 years ago between the 1st and 7th century AD when Egypt was controlled by the Roman and Byzantine Empire. Unlike many famous mummified remains discovered in Egypt, these were found in mass graves and appeared to be ordinary citizens rather than royalty or other important figures. Breakfast cereal maker Kellogg has again raised its bid for Egyptian snack maker Bisco Masr, outbidding private equity group Abraj for the third time and snatching the lead in a $140 million takeover battle. Kellogg said recently it would improve its offer to 86.36 Egyptian pounds per share, hoping to secure a brand that will give it a high-profile presence in the Arab world's most populous nation. UAE's Abraj Investment Management has been battling Kellogg for the Egyptian firm since November. Abraj has increased its own bid only mid-December to 84.66 pounds, topping a previous Kellogg offer. In a report by Zopa and Consumer Intelligence, Almost half of the British respondents agreed that retirement is now a more fluid process than it was in the past, and one of five don't want to stop working as soon as they reach 65. Pre-tires are easing themselves gradually into retirements by reducing their working hours in favor of other interests, such as setting up their own business, changing career, and traveling more frequently, yet others also continue to work beyond the state retirement age. Significantly, just 24% of those aged 55 to 64 said they would be financially secure if they had to retire immediately, while only half of those aged over 65 were confident that they would be. 89% of 50 to 55 year old said they don't know for certain at what age they will retire, while 35% said they expect to retire later than they had originally planned. Justin Timberlake was moved to tears when a 10-year-old fan gave him a bow tie during a recent New York performance. When Justin said that he would wear the bow tie for Christmas, the crowd erupted in applause and the boy went into tears.
According to new university research, listening to jazz music while putting can boost your performance on the putting green. While any kind of music improves performance compared to listening to no music at all, jazz is the most effective musical genre for improving putting. Arjen Robben scored his 100th goal for Bayern Munich in a 2-0 victory over Freiburg recently. That stretched his team unbeaten run to 20 matches in a Bundesliga. Thomas Müller added another goal after the break as coach Pep Guardiola celebrated his 50th match in charge with another victory. Since he took over as coach last season, Guardiola has six drawn and two defeats to go with 42 wins in the Bundesliga. Robin scored in the 41st minute after Xavi Alonso sent the long ball to Frank Ribéry and then the Frenchman nodded the ball down to Robin and the winger headed home from close range. Head tap in, goal number nine for Robin. According to the National Enquirer, though Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden have only been dating since May, they're planning their wedding for early in the new year. Not everyone is thrilled that the 35-year-old Madden and 42-year-old Diaz are racing down the aisle. Some sources say that even Benji thinks they should have an agreement, as it's totally insane, but Cameron's so crazy in love right now that no one can get through to her. This was our GUC News. Stay tuned on our GUC TV.